This is the Intel showroom at CES 2025. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Ken, who's gonna tell us a little bit about Intel's XESS2 graphics, yeah? Yep. All right, totally. Let, hit, dive in. So Let's XESS2 go. XESS2 is a new feature that comes with the Battle Mage graphics card, right? And so this is our launch title with F124. Um, and so XESS2 has three components. We have SR super resolution, we have FG frame generation, and then we have uh, LL, low latency. So okay. XESS, SR, FG, et cetera, right? Um, with each of those components, we're getting pretty massive frame increases, right? And so we don't have a computer here that's showing no XCSS, okay. but effectively on this side, and these are the exact same builds with Battle Mage cards, this card in there, um, in both of these systems. And we're getting, with XCSS SR only, or XCSS 2 SR enabled, we're getting about 90 FPS. Okay. And then when we turn frame generation on, we're getting about 171. Um, and those numbers vary a little bit, right? Sure. Obviously, right, but like 150 to 180 on XCSS2 with SR and FG. Wow. And low latency comes enabled when you turn frame generation on effectively. Okay. Right? Um, so there's no option to toggle that one on. It just turns on when you turn on frame generation in F124. Sure. Um, but so from SR to FG, we're seeing about like a 1.7x um, increase in frames with very, very little quality loss, right? Like you can compare these two and I'd, I think it'd be hard pressed to find a difference. Yeah. If that makes sense, right? And this is uh, 1440p full uh, ray tracing effects, the highest settings that you can turn on. Uh, yeah. Amazing. So the these three technologies that right. you're talking about, yep. they all come together and they basically what you're saying will take you from double digits to triple top, Correct. pretty high Correct. triple yes. digits. You if know, we, if we had no, one eighty. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I keep <laughs> rambling. I'm yapping. Um, if we turn XCSS two off entirely, we'd probably be sitting like forty to sixty frames, and so okay. forty to sixty to you know one hundred and fifty to one hundred and eighty. So like okay. triple to quadruple the frames yeah. with these technologies. That's awesome. I think the number that we, the listed number is like 3.9x in F124 in particular, right? And there's a couple other titles that are coming down the works. This is our launch title. Uh, and so we'll see, you know, how it performs when the other titles come out. That's awesome. But yeah, it does look gorgeous. The road looks real. The reflections on the vehicles look great. Right. Awesome. I love on the cars in particular, just like the, the reflections coming off of them. Sorry, on this yeah, I would like the, the, the chassis on, the, there we go. Yeah, That's a great, such a good view. Great yeah. view. Awesome. Okay. Ooh. Well, do you mind if I, uh, take a crack, see what it's Absolutely. like in action. Take me through the system. Cool. So in this system here, we have a 245K S processor, so an i5 of the Arrow Lake series. Okay. And we also have a Battle Mage B580, and that's outputting triple 1440p um, to all three of these monitors, right? So 7680 by 1440. It's on high settings, so the graphics are toned down a little bit in comparison to our other demo. Okay. Um, but we are running three times the pixels, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you still have a little bit of the ray tracing effects enabled, 1440p across the board, and we're just seeing frame rates. Um, in the menus, it's a little bit lower, but once we get in game, you'll see you know, you're over 100 the majority of the time. Okay. And you can get your Intel upgrade at Newegg.com.